Hello, my name is Bob Kabersky with the Avaya Service Ability Engineering Team. This video covers Avaya Flare Communicator for iPad log collection, an overview of the log contents, how to send them, and some other serviceability tips. The Avaya Flare Communicator for iPad application has the ability to automatically capture events and store them in a number of internal logs. In the unlikely event you experience a problem with this application, you may be asked to capture these logs and send them to your support engineer. To begin this process, there are some prerequisites. First, the logs are sent via email, so your iPad will need to be configured with a working email account. Once your support engineer determines an analysis of the logs is required to help pinpoint your problem, you will be given an email address to send the logs. Next, the application has a verbose logging setting where we'll need to verify the default setting is still set to on. To verify this hasn't changed, select the gear icon near the middle of the top of the user interface. Now scroll to the bottom of the settings window and verify verbose logging is set to on. If it's set to off, make the change and select done. You are now ready to capture a complete set of logs. At this point, once the problem occurs, select the gear icon near the middle of the top of the user interface. The settings window will be displayed and you will need to scroll to the bottom of the settings window and select support information. The support information window will open and you will need to select send logs. At this point, an Avaya Flare application log files email will automatically be created. Now enter the email address you were given by your support engineer. Continue by filling in the body of the email with the date and approximate time the problem occurred. It's also good to include a description of what you did with the application just prior to the problem occurring. Now select Send. So what information was just sent? As you can see, the body of the email includes the version information of your Avaya Flare communicator as well as a zipped log file attachment. The attachment contains a folder and a number of files. The folder contains SOAP files, which is the foundation for web services. There's the Flare version information file. It's a duplication of the version information that's on the body of the email. Then there's the PPM log file. It contains information such as your SIP server and domain, your contact information, and other details specific to your client. Next, there's a SIP messages log file. This contains things like registration and signaling information, as well as other information used to control your SIP communication sessions. Then there's a Spark Messages file. This contains information related to the internal core communication processes of the client. It's the internal engine for things like the user interface functionality. Then there's the XMPP log file. It contains information related to your instant messages and the present states and information you send and receive. The config XML file contains configuration information used for the Flare communicator to communicate with the Avaya Aura Core for things like feature enablement. And a user profile XML file contains user mode information. All of these files contain information related to the overall configuration and operation of your Avaya Flare communicator for iPad client. Finally, there's a serviceability tip if you experience a user interface issue such as something on your screen is not displayed properly. There is a process to do a screen capture and send that information via an email. Once you have what you want to capture on the screen, simply hold the home button and press and release the on off sleep wake up button. Your screen will flash white and you will hear a camera click. At this point your screenshot is captured as a photo. View the photo, access the iPad photo icon, and navigate to your screenshot. To email the photo of your screenshot, tap it, and an option and navigation bar will be displayed at the top and bottom of your screen. Do not worry about the orientation of the picture. Now select the option arrow icon. Select the email photo option. This will insert the photo into the body of the email. You can now send it to your support engineer and this will enable them to see exactly what you are viewing on your screen. All of this information is very useful to help pinpoint problems. And depending on the complexity of the problem, correlation with logs from other systems within the Avaya Aura Core may be required. 
your support engineer will be able to determine what's required to help resolve your issue. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome questions, comments, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.